What did I do to gain velo in high school besides the weight room and throwing programs? Well, I didn't do weight room in high school. <laughs> I didn't actually start lifting until I was out of college. I did a ton of speed work, med ball work and speed work, sprints, med ball tosses, uh, like four pound med ball throws, uh, a lot of weighted ball throwing, a lot of long toss, just all explosive, fast twitch type of stuff. I, don't know, I feel like you'd have a different like, See, I was getting ready to ask you, what was your mindset when you were in high school about avoiding the weight room? Because for me, it was the complete opposite. Oh, where yeah. I wasn't like a naturally like hard thrower, but once I like hit those few growth spurts, and once I was at the end of that, the velo didn't come until I started attacking the weight room, attacking my mobility issues, and I started. I didn't start pitching full time until I was 16, and I am. When I started training myself for pitching, I got into a weighted ball program. It was the MPA one that was founded by Tom House. I did some work with Jamie Evans, who was around my area. He basically was the Tom House of like the East Coast. So it was those components that helped me. But what was your idea about not getting in the weight room? So well? Yeah, so I, I focused so heavily on high throwing volumes and fast twitch. Like I just want I need to move very, very fast to mm -hmm. throw hard. That was kind of my ideology at the time. So I felt like adding weight was going to slow me down. And I just wanted to move very fast. And I didn't understand anywhere close to as much as I understand now. But I just did speed stuff, speed and plow stuff nonstop. So for that time, like I got really good at rebounding energy and moving fast. Um, now I couldn't, I didn't have the strength to generate the power. Uh, so I would just like move as fast as I could down the mound to generate the energy using gravity and using like speed and stuff like that. And then I would just be really, I had really good arm speed and whatever, but I didn't throw hard either. I was, uh, is he going to get there? No. Oh, oh. oh KK. Oh, Man. wow. Look what I found. Did I'm that ball come back? He can smile because he keeps making the plays. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That was almost disaster. There's almost there's near disaster all inning that inning. Yikes! Wow. <laughs> I wonder. Look at his face. I know. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh shit, that could have been bad. Yeah, it could have been really bad. Um, but yeah, I mean, to come back to to the topic, I I wanted to move fast. I did a, a ton of plyo stuff, and I just threw really hard. Mm -hmm. But I didn't throw hard early in high school. So I know my my thought was like, I'm an undersized guy, and I'm not big and I need to find a way to throw hard, so I'm just gonna try to throw hard and move fast a lot. Started that after my freshman year. I was like 76, 78 my freshman year. And then I was like 83, 85 my sophomore year and 90 to 93, topping 94 my junior year. And I didn't lift at all, I just did the plyometric stuff. Which now, and this is probably a question for you, Tim, but looking back on it, I at that time period in your life, you're basically on a natural cycle of steroids when you're going through puberty, right? So you have like really high levels of growth hormone and testosterone and whatever else as your body is changing. And so a lot of the work that I did on the speed side of things is probably why I'm so good at rebounding energy now. I built up some tendon strength mm -hmm. because that was all that my training was really focused on. It wasn't really focused on muscular size or muscular strength or power output. So even now, like when I do running guns, when I do pull downs, if I, the faster I run, the harder I throw because I can stop the energy very well. Mm. But if you put me in a static position on the mound, like I'll throw 87, 30 seconds after I throw 105 on a pull down. So it's not like I'm loose or it's a different day or anything like that. It's like, I just, when there's more energy in the system, I stop it very well. And I probably got a lot of those properties and the tendons and stuff built up at that time period of my life. I look back on what I did at 18, 19 years old and like heart was in the right place. But I remember my first, my first um, like uh, winter break, uh, my freshman year at LSU, I, I was home for winter break and, you know, was really determined. I wanted to, I didn't have like the best fall uh, with our team. So I was really determined to kind of come back and, you know, see if I could win a starting job or win like an important role in our bullpen. So um, I was doing uh, our off season um, lifting program that our strength coach had prescribed to us. And I was doing hot yoga three times a week. 
and I was also training for our conditioning test, which was uh, 16 110 yard dashes. And then I had this idea, well, I need to, I didn't have the understanding that it's not just about working hard, it's like outsmarting your competition and working smart, but I just was under the impression that you know, volume and actual workload is going to beat the competition. So I was doing uh, the squat tober of, oh, I'm a pitcher, I need to have strong legs too. So there were days where, and I was doing our, our off-season throwing and long tossing while I was doing that. So there were days where I would wake up and go to a hot yoga session for an hour and a half in 105 degree heat. Then I would drive to my high school football field a half hour later and run 16, 110 yard dashes. And then I would do my throwing program and then I would go eat lunch, and then I would do our um, LSU strength program, and then I would go back to the gym like that night and do like the squat tober, where like you're basically doing some sort of leg exercise every single day. Yeah. And was able to handle that at 19, but looking at that now, it's like, where the hell was your mind, mind at? But art was in the right place, but just, I can't really imagine doing that now at 24 years old. Yeah. You know. 